Hey guys, it's Pure Venom here bringing you another video. So, the fun thing is, is with the Surface headphones, uh, of course, as you can see, I have the last generation. Of course, they come out with a new one. Um, but, no biggie. Um, pretty much, they're almost the exact same thing. Uh, the only difference now is that you do get them in the black color, so that matte black uh, kind of looks nice, I will definitely say. Uh, Glacier White, it's okay works well they call it platinum now it's glacier white i don't know anymore um battery life hasn't been bad on these like i said in my re uh, previous video uh these are anywhere between uh 10 and 12 hours they state 14 once again you know if you need it for longer you know there's always a charger also, you do get Bluetooth 5. Now, these are 4.2 Bluetooth. I don't know if Microsoft will upgrade the firmware on these to 5. Um, I would expect so, just because there's really not much of a difference uh, on Surface headphones, too. Now, of course, their um, ambient noise canceling, uh, so the ANC on these, have been tuned a little bit better for more of like an office uh, type of scenario. Um, Really, they haven't done much to this individual, the actual drivers of the speakers themselves. So that's why I tell people, I'm like, it's not going to be a large improvement. But these micro improvements do show that Microsoft is moving in the right direction. Of course, your first gen products may not go as well as the others. So it's still the 40 millimeter drivers. You still get your 30 and 40 passive. The only difference is just been tuned better for your passive uh, noise cancellation. Um, and then from there, uh, you are getting the Bluetooth 5, of course. You are getting the 20 hours of battery. Um, once again, it's probably going to be like 15 to 18 hours, I would expect. Um, unless Microsoft put a bigger battery in. I know Bluetooth 5 does a really good job with uh, app decks uh, for actually saving battery but once again when it comes to uh, the headphones they really don't weigh any different so I don't know if they got just better improvements uh, in certain categories or if they lightened it up in other other areas uh, and the big thing with the surface headphones though uh, these do this they do not go in so you can't like so put them on your neck it's not very comfortable they don't go like this um, the new ones now actually uh, will be doing uh, 180 motion so uh, instead of just the 90 degree I don't know who the heck thought that was a smart idea but they need to be beaten with sticks um, that's one of the most annoying things that I get with these um, because with my Astros of course they go this way and this way. They actually can rest on your shoulder. They do a good job. Uh, that's the big perk with those. Um, because gaming, typically, you got long sessions with them. But you do get the case still with them. Uh, it is in black. I would be kind of interested if they're going to give you black cables or if they're going to still give you the satin uh, gray cables. Uh, either way, I mean... I, I think it would be, be pretty cool if they went with the black, um, just for the whole aesthetics, but I get if they need to do some like contrast on the inside just so you can find your stuff. Um, but like I said before, uh, with these guys, uh, they do have the new Surface uh, app, Surface Audio app, instead of you using the Cortana Connect. Um, way easier to set up, super polished, uh, and it looks way better. Um, and of course, Microsoft says with the Surface Headphones 2 that you could do all of your office dictation. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All the office um, dictation and things along those lines. Of course, these do the same thing. They didn't change the speakers out. They didn't do anything like that. All they did was add better battery life with Bluetooth 5 and AppDex. And then also, they gave you a little bit better noise cancellation. But from there, they're the same things as the first generation. Oh, and I forgot the swivel. <coughs> Ooh. Sorry, guys. 
and the swiveling for the ear cups. That's the other big thing. Also, price-wise, they're not $350 because, you know, only Bose can charge that price. Uh, Sennheiser can try charge that price. Sony can charge that price. Microsoft, you do a great job, but it's even better now because it's at a better price point. I got these on sale because Microsoft always ran sales. Um, the first gens, I think the lowest they ever got was like $199. It was a great deal. I mean, uh, beat out everything in its class, in my opinion, um, for connectivity, uh, ease of use, and also um, aesthetics. I prefer the way that these look. So, but. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you guys do have any questions or concerns, of course, please feel free. Uh, comment down below, like and subscribe. And like I've said in the previous videos, these all come from uh, Windows Central. They do a really good job of write-ups and things like that. I just use them for the pictures and also for the little description areas. Um, I've read the articles personally and they do an awesome job on almost any of the Surface products. So, But you guys have a great one. Later.